Hi, this is James with Bread for Electronics, breadforelectronics.com. This is a web tutorial for HughesNet Satellite Internet. One of the most common questions that customers have is, can I connect multiple computers or can I connect a laptop and use it wirelessly with HughesNet? And the answer is yes. You will need an additional component in your HughesNet connection that's called a wireless router and if you place your order with us at the time that you place your order you can buy your wireless router as well that way you'll have everything that you need all at one time the technician that installs your system they will usually have a wireless router available to you that you can buy from them or if you wanted to connect one yourself then I'm going to show you how to do that. This is a wireless router and depending on what brand you buy it may look a little different than this. Some of the brands have antennas some of the brands have the antennas built internally and there's some that may have more antennas than what this one does. All of them are going to have five connections on the back of the router one of the connections is going to be labeled WAN or Internet. And on this particular router, that's this connection right here. These other four connections are going to connect to the computers. You can connect up to four hardline computers with this type of router. These are going to be labeled one, two, three and four. Now sometimes these may be color coded. Sometimes I've seen routers where all of these were blue and then the internet port was yellow. Sometimes vice versa. Again it depends on which brand of router that you purchase. You are going to need to locate your HughesNet modem that your installer installed um, and that's going to be the white box that says HughesNet. And if you have a desktop that you're going to put hardlined into the system, I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Now if you're just going to use a laptop, you do not need a computer that is directly connected into it for your laptop to work all the time. You can have just the modem and the wireless router and then the wireless router is going to send the signal wirelessly to your laptop. So I'm going to go over a step later with you and I'll, I'll tell you in that step that you're not going to need to do this if that's what you plan to do, just to use a wireless or a laptop wirelessly. So when your system is installed your technician is going to connect your HughesNet modem directly into a computer. You're going to have a gray cable that comes out of your HughesNet modem and connects into your computer. This is called an Ethernet connection. There's only one connection on your computer and one connection on the HughesNet modem that this particular cable will fit into. This cable is is similar to a phone line connection except the connections are a little bigger. In order to connect your wireless router <clears throat> the first thing you're going to do is connect the cable that comes with your wireless router into one of the ports that are, that are labeled 1, 2, 3, or 4. The next step is to unplug the cable that is in the computer and plug that into the connection that is labeled Internet or WAN on your wireless router. Now if you plan on using a laptop wirelessly, you're finished at this point. You do not even need to connect this cable that is yellow to 
the wireless router. You can simply have the gray cable that comes from your Usenet modem into your wireless router that's plugged into the WAN or the internet port of your wireless router. If you do plan on connecting a desktop to the system, you'll plug the other end of this yellow cable that's coming from your wireless router into the desktop where you previously had the gray cable plugged in before. We're going to do another tutorial that is going to explain how to configure the software inside of your HeSnet mo or inside of your wireless router to work with your HeSnet modem. If you have any questions, go to our website, bradselectronics.com, and contact us. We'll be happy to answer any questions you may have.